Hey, Andy here from builderhottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to program the Balboa BP-8 Spa Pack. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is a Balboa BP-8 Spa Pack, and you can see that here. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how to program it, and I'm gonna use one of the newer graphical user interfaces rather than say a, a TP600. Uh, I'm gonna use one of the color user interfaces and explain how we program it. So it's a bit different than normal. So let's jump over to the workbench and take a look how we do it. Okay, so here I've got a BP-8 spa pack from Balboa and I've got it connected here to a TP700 top side control. And this is one of the top sides that has the graphical user interface. And this is the same on the spa touch range as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually change the setup mode of the BP-8. Now, this BP-8, if I hold this up to the camera here, let's see if I can get that into shot. Yes, I can. So this BP-8, as you can see, there's a table of 18 different configurations at the bottom right-hand corner of the cover. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to configure the BP-8 pack to run with a different combination of pumps and blowers. So what you need to do is firstly, you need to identify what you're gonna be connecting to the pack. Now, this particular unit is, it's in its default factory mode, which is mode number one. So I'm actually gonna configure this to mode number nine. And mode number nine, as I read across the table here, is for a two speed pump on pump one and a single speed pump on pump two, and then a single speed blower. So the first thing that I'm gonna to need to do in the top right hand corner, there's a bank of 10 dip switches. And this unit's got power, so it is live. So you've got to be very careful that you don't touch anything other than the switch. But I'm gonna move dip switch number one to the on position and that's, that's upwards. So that's now in test mode. And in test mode or setup mode, I've actually got access via the keypad control here to a, a different menu and I can change the software setup. So I'm gonna move along through the panel. I do love these graphical user interfaces. They're very, very nice. And I'm gonna to get to my test option, which doesn't exist when dip switch one is down and I'll show that at the end of the video. So I'm gonna click on test and you can see here that in setup here, it's set to number one. So to change it, all I'm gonna do is just scroll down. And I said I was gonna set this to number nine. I'm gonna to set to number nine, click, set, and you hear the relays click, and you'll also see that the unit is resetting, and it's resetting live in front of us here. It says initializing down the bottom of the screen there. So when this unit reboots up. Okay, so it's given me an, an error code. That's fine. It just means the settings have reset. I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that I've got the two options for my pump one and my pump two, but okay, it's just telling me to set the time there. That's not a problem because this uh, isn't a live unit. This is just a, a demo unit and I've actually got the heater disconnected as well just for safety because I don't want it drawing too much current but if I go back into my test mode you can see that it's now set to number nine and it was really really easy to actually change the the setup on the unit and now that I'm happy with the unit as it is let's go back to the main control all I'm going to do now is go carefully back to the top right of the unit I'm going to move dip switch number one back down and let's go ahead and do that so we can see that that test mode disappears. So just be careful, as I said, not to touch anything. So I've moved that down. So if I look now on the top side control, you can see there is no test mode. So that's disappeared from the, from the options. 
So I'm set now to mode number nine. You can hear the relays clicking away behind me and we're, we're good to go. So that is how you change the setup mode on your BP-8 with a TP-700 topside control. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you found this short video useful. If you have, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.